the early days of mastering uh, were, were a very, very simple process. Basically, what you're doing is you were getting the finished product ready for the world. So this had to do with cutting vinyl, um, you know, in the early days. But the vinyl had limitations as far as frequency content and things that could be included in an audio signal to, to kind of get the most out of the vinyl. You know, the, the bigger the groove, the more the frequency content. And the bigger the groove, the more space it takes up on a record. So if you're doing a, an LP with, with you know, multiple tracks, you had to accommodate for that. So you had to shrink things in a way that allowed you to, to get what you needed out of that vinyl. Now, we've kind of you know, ultimately gone beyond that because we have so much limitations in the digital world. Um, and, and early on, you know, mastering became a, a, the process of putting the final polish on the mix. You're not gonna, it's too late to make drastic changes, but you can do subtle things that increase the performance of the audio and ultimately get the audio loud enough to compete with go, what's going on in the radio. So this chapter is a very basic understanding of the mastering process because to be honest, a whole curriculum could be written about mastering. Our staple is one-on-one -on -one in an actual studio. So whereas you'd be theorizing in a classroom, what you're doing is you're working with an artist or producer who's worked with bands that you know, who's worked with hip hop artists that you absolutely love, who's worked with your favorite female vocalist, who's worked with tons of, of professionals in the industry. This is what makes this thing special. This is what makes this different from anything else.